Hi, welcome to my Yoga Stretch Fusion Standing Only class. I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Today's class is a fusion of yoga, dynamic stretching, ballet, Pilates, Tai Chi, all fused into one little class. Please make sure you exercise within your ability. If you experience any difficulty, stop and seek a physician right away. All right, go ahead, find a space. Get a mat, a chair, get close to a wall if you need for balance, and then meet me back here. And welcome back to Yoga Stretch Fusion Standing Only. You see I have two mats here in a T-shape. I have that set up just for me as a teacher that I can change my angles to show you how a different a pose will look. But if you just wanna stick with one direction, whatever works for you. So let's start with Mountain Pose. Toes are spread, feet are hip width apart, nice and tall, palms open up, shoulders relaxed, eyes gently closed. Find your center from the bottom of your feet. So your arches are just gently lifted, your big toes gently pressing down. Inhale through your nose and exhale. Bring that center up through your ankles, through your knees, through your hips. Inhale and exhale. Continue to bring that center up through your spine, the top of your head. Bring focus to your mind, your third eye. Your ears lined up with your shoulders, shoulders lined up with your hips, hips lined up with your knees, knees lined up with your ankles. Bring your hands together, center, and for namaste. Inhale. And exhale. Slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach for the sky. Exhale, open up, pushing away. Reverse the arms, inhale up. Exhale, center. Forward with your arms, inhale. Exhale, open. Wide, open wide, and then closing. And center. You're gonna sweep your arms up and around, tuck your tailbone. I want you to imagine you're holding a big beach ball. Chin is tucked, knees are bent. You're gonna to start to curl yourself down, straightening your legs, still holding on to that big beach ball so your elbows are up and out. Chin is tucked, feel it through the spine, down into the legs. Shake your head yes. Shake your head no. Shake your head yes. And shake your head no. Go ahead and start to curl yourself up. Bring those hands up to the sky, reaching high, and then you're gonna slide down. Paint the wall, knees are soft, elbows relaxed. Good. And you're gonna paint the wall, coming up, adjust to shoulder height, and down. So just get nice and soft, nice and light. One more time. We're gonna call it beat the drum. You're going to just twist through the core. So the focus is through the center and the arms are just letting go. What's gonna happen is as you start to increase the strength through your twist, 
the arms will start to swing a little more. And I want you just to let them kind of fall by them sides. And that's where it's like beat the drum because you're slapping your sides like a drum. Inhale and exhale. Nice and easy. Again, all of it through the core. And center. I'm gonna angle myself a little bit here. We're gonna sweep those arms up and around. Knees are bent. I want you to curve your back like a cat. Chin is tucked. And then you're gonna sweep those arms up and out. And then I want you to arch your back like a cow. So you have that sway back. Knees are soft. Open the chest. Again, sweeping around. And up and out. So I want you to feel this through the spine, into the upper shoulders and back, and then chest and shoulders in the front. So getting both sides of the body. Let's do that one more time. Curve the spine, open up, and release. There you go. Inhale back up, hands together, lifting the rib cage as you sway side to side. So we're laterally moving the spine now. You can get every angle of the spine. So everything does start from the core. So I want to make sure everything's nice and warmed up. Inhale and exhale. One more time each. Center, sitting down into chair pose, hands namaste. Hips are back, should be able to wiggle your toes. Inhale up, again, chair pose. Go in and out of the chair pose as we start to incorporate our lower body into the movements. Go down as far as you can. Make sure you're bending at the knees and the hips at the same time. Hips are back, chest stays open towards me. Okay. Come on down and hold. We're gonna go into balancing chair. Start with your right heel off the floor. So more of your weight is in this leg, but I want you to still stay centered as much as you can. Engage the core, pulling up towards the rib cage. Lower your heel down and switch legs. The other heel comes up. Keep yourself nice and centered. Inhale. Exhale. Heels coming down. Inhale up. Back into that chair pose. Now we're going to have both heels come off. You can do one at a time if you need to, or keep both heels on the floor. But I want you to try to stay even on the balls of your feet. Chest stays open. Readjust if you need to. Inhale and exhale. Good. Keep it up. Lower the heels down, inhale up. Swan dive down, hinging from your hips, bend your knees if you need to. Go ahead and monkey pose, back is flat, chest is extended. Downward dog, fingers spread, walk your feet back in the downward dog. I'm gonna turn myself to the side, fingers spread. We're gonna pedal through the downward dog. You can do this with your hands on a chair if you prefer. For one reason or another, you don't want to put your feet hands on the floor or it's not comfortable for you. And you just go into that same position, but go ahead and pedal, bending one knee, straighten the other. Elbows underneath, shoulders away from your ears. Go ahead and push both heels down and both heels all the way up. Both heels all the way down. Feel that into the feet through the legs. Good. Coming up and hold. Your hips are still up and back, still pushing your chest towards your toes. Now we're gonna pulse it out. Pulse, feel that work through the legs. Hang in there. Again, you can put your hands on the chair if you need to. Three, two, push the heels down. Feel that stretch to the back of the legs. Come back up and pulse. Keep your breathing going. Three, two, and press and hold here. Just my hands all 
little bit here. Inhale. Exhale, see if you go a little deeper. Heels pushing towards the floor, tailbone back, chest towards your toes, shoulders away from your ears. Gazing forward, you're gonna bring your right foot forward. I'm gonna turn myself back to the front. Back heel lowers down to the floor, coming up into warrior one. Now if you need to stand up first and then get into this position, whatever works for you, back leg as straight as your heels in the floor. Square off your hips as much as you can and sink down. Should be able to see your big toe. Warrior one. Inhale. And exhale. Shoulders relaxed. Engage the core. One more breath, inhale. Exhale, open up to warrior two. One arm forward, one arm back. Your front knee is still straight forward. So if you need to, push the knee open. Still see your big toe. Arms parallel. Shoulders and hips are stacked. Now after that downward dog series, if your arms are pretty tired, you could always do namaste. Rest those arms in that warrior two. Inhale. Straightening your right leg lower down into a triangle. Your left shoulder is going to stay open. Go down into the pose as far as you're comfortable. Left hand straight up to the sky. Inhale. And exhale. You can go a little further, but keep your chest open. Back to the front. Inhale, reach for the sky. Sitting into chair pose. We're gonna do twisted chair. Rotate to the right. Your opposite elbows to the outside of your knee. Your chest is open to the right. Right elbow straight up. Engage the core. Inhale. Exhale. Center. Switch sides. Chest is open to the left, left elbow is up. Inhale. Exhale, center. Inhale all the way up. Swan dive down, exhale. Left foot steps, or actually, I like right foot steps back. Warrior one. Heel is into the floor, sweeping up into. Warrior one. So we're switching sides if you haven't figured that out yet. So your left leg is in front. Right heel is pushing into the floor, sinking through your tailbone. Warrior one. Should still see your big toe. Inhale. And exhale. Staying strong. Pull your abdominals in. It's very easy just to kind of let our stomach go. I want you to pull in. That will also protect your lower back. And open to warrior two. One arm forward, one arm back. Arms parallel. Gazing down, make sure that knee is still opened up. Straight forward. Hips and chest are opening to the right. Inhale. And exhale. Stay there, I'm gonna turn myself to the side so you can see the different angle. Namaste is an option if the arms are tired. Your shoulders need a rest. Straighten your left leg, hip is pushing back, and then lower down into a triangle. Chest stays open, right shoulder back. I'm gonna go into the phase that works for you. Only go down as far as your body is ready for it. I want you to maintain that openness through the shoulder and then reaching to the sky. Inhale and exhale. Good. 
coming up. And bring your feet back to the front. Inhale, reach for the sky. And then sway side to side. Keep your hips center. Sway to the right and hold. Keep your hips facing me so they are not moving. Everything's from the rib cage up. You're going to twist and look down. But again, the hips should be facing me the whole time. Feel that from the middle of the back. Open back up. Pushing the arms back. Feel that through the chest and shoulder. Coming up and over the other side. Keep your hips right where they're at. Twist to the rib cage. Make sure your hip bones are not twisting too. Looking down, feel that through the middle of the back. Open up. Through the top. Bending at the knees, you're gonna round out your back, tuck your tailbone, chin is tucked, elbows up and out. Inhale. And exhale. Pushing your hands away from you, but keep the elbows up. Feel that stretch move through the rib cage and through your spine. Coming up nice and tall. Keeping your hips back, you're gonna push and your chin back, push your arms back. And then bring your arms up and out. Fingers spread, hinge from your wrist. Again, keep the chin back, neck relaxed. Inhale and exhale. And release, shake it out. Okay, we're gonna go into some footwork here. We're going to balance on your left foot, right toes curl under, and then we're just gonna circle it out. I want you to feel this to the top of the foot and into the toes. If you get cramps really easily, just pick your foot up, kind of work it out, and then go back into it. As you continue to do these exercises on a regular basis, that cramp should not be quite as bad or come on as easily. Switch directions, same foot. Inhale. Exhale. Go ahead now, push top of your foot forward and then push your heel down. Push the top of the foot forward. Make sure your knee is straight forward. Feel that in the top of the foot. And then as you push your heel down, you're gonna feel that through the toes. Push your, hip forward, push your foot forward and then push your heel down. So it looks like this from the side. So if I'm pushing and then dropping the heel. Pushing towards me and dropping. Release, shake it out, and then you're gonna switch feet. So balance on your right foot, toes are spread, left toes under, and then circle it out. Nice and tall. Challenge your balance reflexes, or you can use a chair or a wall. Inhale, and exhale. Circle the other way. Tall. Okay, make sure your knee is straight forward, toes under, push your foot forward so you feel that right at the top of the foot and then drop the heel down. I'm gonna turn my leg to the side so you can see. Push the foot forward, drop the heel. Push the foot forward towards me. I'm just turned to the side so you can see the different angle. I'm gonna put myself back forward. So getting from the top of the foot, maybe even your shins, depending on how tight your ankle and shins are, you're gonna feel that up there also. And shake it out again. Okay, we're gonna go through our hands. I want you to just move the fingers quickly so you have the different joints. I want you to move through each joint quickly. Elbows relaxed, shoulders relaxed. Inhale. And exhale.
Go ahead and make a tight fist, then open. Tight, stretch, and open. Feel that in both directions. Strength and stretch. Make a loose fist, rotate your wrist. Rotate the other way. Knees are soft, we don't wanna lock those knees. Shoulders relax. Okay, now think like speed photography of a flower blooming as you open one finger at a time and then closing one finger at a time. And I want you to really concentrate, especially if you have really tight um, fingers for one reason or another is to you're still moving quickly but you're still moving one finger at a time I want you to switch on which one go ahead switch the which ones comes out first and which one goes back in first it's a little harder sometimes One more time. All right, palms flat, fingers straight. You're gonna go out wide with the fingers. I'm gonna do this so you can see a little better. Wide and back together. Wide and back together. Keeping those fingers straight, wrists straight. Stretch as far as you can out. This is where my arthritis gets challenged. Couple more. Now bring your arms straight out in front, fingers still straight, but this time you're gonna hinge from your wrist. Shoulders relaxed, elbows straight, hinging through the wrist. Knees are soft. Inhale. Exhale. And then fingers like a cat scratch. Go ahead and do them quickly. Just your fingertips. And then palms together, fingers together, the heels of your hands together, shoulders down. You're gonna gently press down, but as soon as those shoulders start to wanna pop up, that's where you have to stop and then release. These are muscles and joints that we tend to forget, but we don't realize it until we start having issues like carpal tunnel or arthritis. All the way down, I'm gonna turn myself to the side. You're gonna go wide with the fingers and together, but keep the fingers and the palms together as much as you can. together and then you're going to go wide and together stretch as far as you can okay now fingers together I want you to rotate towards me and then rotate away rotate towards me shoulders relaxed and then away one more time, each. And release. Good. Now fingers linked together, rock side to side. Feel that through the wrist, and I want you to gently press with both wrists so that you're feeling that on both sides, and then just switch. And then flip water off your fingers and then shake it out. Good job. All right, we did it. Let's go into mountain pose. Feet hip width apart, palms open up, eyes gently close, and just let everything go. Inhale, and exhale. Inhale, 
inhale. And exhale. Just let your shoulders melt away. and exhale. Relax the muscles around your eyes. Release the muscles around your jaw as your teeth gently separate. Inhale. Slowly open your eyes. Inhale, reach for the sky as high as you can. And exhale. Again, inhale. And exhale. One more time. And release. And namaste. Thank you so much for joining my class. I hope you liked it. If you do, give me a little thumbs up down below. There's a little picture of me if you want to subscribe and get all the classes for free with notifications. And then I always leave a little video there for a little extra. Again, I'm Jennifer Wagner with Collective Wellness. Come back again. Bye.